Hello friends, here I have an app in which I save history from web view and then display it on a history page in a list view and I display it in a custom list view but the problem here is in this custom list view I have used checkboxes to select items and when I select a few items and scroll down I see that that a few items are already selected so this problem Now how to solve this problem? It's uh, very tricky to solve this problem. But here in this video I will show you how to solve this problem of automatically checking list view. So let's move to Sketchware. Here I will create a new app. And in this app I will create a custom list view. So for this I will need a list view and a custom view. Now in custom view I will use a checkbox with width match parent. And now in this main.xml I will set the custom view of list view to the new view which I have created now in logic area I will add a new list map and here in this map I will add numbers as values so let the first number be say 2000 and then repeat it for here I will just add 30 so I will add numbers from 2000 to 2030 in the list for adding it to the list map I have to use this block add key I can use any key here like list and then the value should be this number I will convert it to a string before adding it and then I will add it to the list map. Now after this for each time I will increase it by one and when it is done then I will set the data of list view to this list map and then refresh the list view. Okay, now I will add a new event on bind custom view and here set the text of checkbox to data from the list for this get value at position with key list of the list map now this is how a custom list view is created and let's check this now here is a custom list view if we select any items and scroll down we see more selected items now in order to solve this problem Go to on bind custom view and here we have to use file shared preferences so first add a component file shared preferences and now on bind custom view use an if else block and check if the file key equals some particular value like if the file key equals check so here we will use position as key 
so I will just add two string and since numbers has can be used elsewhere also I will just add make it a and a number so join a and two string position without decimal now if this key equals checked then check set the checkbox checked so checkbox set checked true and if it is not if it doesn't equal check then we will set it to false okay now after this add this block when view is clicked and here when checkbox is clicked use another if else block and when checkbox is clicked if the checkbox is checked if the checkbox get checked then we add some value to file like here in this case you have to add this value checked and key should be same and if it is not checked on clicking then we will add a different value like not checked so what happens that when we check when we click on a checkbox if the checkbox gets checked then we set the value of file key at that position to checked and when it is not checked like when we uncheck by clicking on a checkbox then we set the value of file key to not checked and after that whenever the custom bind means whenever on custom bind is executed then if file key position value is checked then it automatically checks the ch checkbox otherwise it doesn't check the checkbox so let's check this code now here we have the same list and if we click on any item like here I have clicked two items and I scroll down I don't see any other clicked items or checked items so here you can see this is working fine I hope this will be useful for you thank you very much for watching this video